So today we're just going to learn about a few things that all of us teachers do. Um, I just want to help us understand why we're doing it. So first of all, um, empirical evidence research shows that um, activating existing knowledge at the beginning of the le lecture helps us um, uh, make a nice transition into new material, like I said in the previous lecture, previous video. This is why at the beginning of lecture I recall what we've already learned. Um, and then I continue um, to, to lecture using visuals, graphs of any kind that, that might help clarify what's going on is also a good thing to do at the beginning of class. Um, weekly quizzes, I think a lot of us do this. The one thing that's key here is the quizzes are very important and quizzing as opposed to reading your book or reading the notes, having students do this, Quizzing helps them, helps, helps solidify their understanding. It does a much better job than just reading something and bringing it back to memory. This takes a lot more conscious mental effort uh, during the process of a quiz. And that's why it helps, um, uh, helps solidify the understanding in our, in our mind. So instructors also, uh, it's kind of interesting. Um, the longer a person teaches, it's actually what can happen is you can become a, a poor and poor, a less effective teacher as time goes on. Why? Because you get a perfect understanding of what's going on, and when you teach, you think in everyone else's understanding, but they don't. We forget. So. Make sure as a teacher we constantly keep that in mind and, and, and self-analyze as we're teaching so that we don't uh, lose our students.